G'day. I'm really excited. Uh, it's been a while since I've um, commented much about the uh, LA uh, submarine that I'm doing. But I've spent today a final day coding the Arduino. And uh, because I got it going and I've been just playing with it to see how it works best. And as I've done that, I realized that some of the things work better than others and that, that led me back into the code of the Arduino, how the whole thing's configured. So what I'm going to do now is just quickly go through some of the new things that I've been putting into this, and then I'm going to show it to you. So let's go. Um, one of the first things that I've done is, you see, there's a great thing about model submariners, everyone forgets you. So I've been working with the Open LRS um, Orange RX, and uh, that has been quite a challenge. I'm going to put out a video on that shortly because, as I just said, everyone forgets the submariners, and it's not quite so easy as it looks to get it working properly. I've I've spent some time going down all sorts of gopher holes. Anyway, that's one thing. Second thing that I've done with this is that you know that the Arduino runs most of the functions of this boat. Well, what I have done, though, with this is I've made sure that the power, and I've made sure that the rudder, and I've made sure I've got a rebooting um, servo in there, which completely bypass the um, Arduino. That's a really good failsafe. I've also got the failsafe working through the system, but that's another story. Um, and the third thing that I've done Fourth thing is I've put the memory uh, of the pressures and so on into the EEPROM, which means that it, it remembers it the next time it boots up. Okay, let's have a look at the boat. So here it is. It's just in bits at the moment, really, but I'm going to show you how it all works. Um, and after this, I'm going to do a little demonstration of how I get it ready for the pond. Um, thing is, I've got two pistons, bow and stern. Um, it's controlled by the Arduino. Um, I've got right in here um, two little uh, distance sensors which measure the distance of the pistons at any one particular time. Because of that I, I don't need anything to stop them as they go in and out, although I put, the, I put a clamp around the whole thing to hold it together because there's considerable pressures inside this once we get these moving. Um, I also have a um, pressure gauge. I've got this out here going into a bottle at the moment. That's another unit there. Um, and I have in the bow um, a... I have a bow thruster in here, as you can see, and the back of it's off at the moment. So, there we have it all. Um, the uh, Arduino sits in here. Um, I've got here the RX, the orange RX. Um, I've got all of the relays sitting under here. And just here I've got my um, self-leveling device. Um, as you can see, I've got these two uh, motors that sit under here. The power, the pistons, they're only 15 bucks each off eBay. The whole thing works pretty well. I've made the uh, pistons, um, used uh, some acrylic and actually uh, welded them in with glue. So they are, they are very, very secure. Um, and that's basically it. You can see down here we've got the motor. So, how does it all work? It's very exciting, I've got to say. On with the power. So we've got the power, we've got the rudder. I'll just quickly show you how the bow thruster works. If I turn this, it runs from the uh, rudder controller. It's really gutsy and it throws the thing around in the water. Um, I'll just put that back. But now we get to the sexy part, which is all about getting this thing underwater and diving and working. Um, we have the, um, I don't know if you can see this. have the stern controls, the hydros. I also have the hydros uh, attached here to the sail that we will see operate shortly. Um, so the way the boat, the boat works basically is I can pull this lever to one side and as you can see both 
the pistons are withdrawing. This is for servicing, and they're both going that way. Now I can use this control here, and they're both moving in that direction. This is for trim, fore and aft. That's the other one, trim, fore and aft. Now the interesting thing is that when I pull these levers on, the pistons are limited to the distance that's programmed into the um, sensors. So, I'd, so it runs within a, within a particular boundary. Interesting thing is, and this is very smart that I'm just showing off, is that when I use this control, which is the trim control, it's not bounded by those. So if I turn one of those on, I can just pop one of my cylinders out very easily and very nicely. All right, so imagine I've got the boat in the water. Let's pop this on for now. <laughs> it really looks a lot better when I've got it tidied up. So imagine that that's um, on the water and it's, it's going down. I've got the depth right. I've got the trim right, it's about there. What I do is I hit this switch here which takes a snapshot. And the snapshot is of the position of both of these pistons, number one. And the second thing is it's the depth that the boat is at. Now I've got this little um, tube in here just to represent the depth. So if I want to, I can now just sail away by putting it in auto. Now auto does three things. The first thing is it turns on the self-leveling device on the stern. The second thing that it does is it turns on this control and if the boat sinks below where it should be, up goes the if it's coming to the surface you can see that it's going up and down but there is a, a third component to it, which is if the boat goes too far toward the surface, you just heard this briefly, that's the piston coming on for 0.8 of a second, and it does that every four seconds. It just adjusts all the time to keep the boat at the depth that you chose with the snapshot. So, I have the boat sailing around, and I decide that I'm going to surface so I take it out of um, auto. Of course, what I can do now with it out of auto is just go down on the hydroplane and go down to a deeper level, take another snapshot, put it on auto again. It will hold that level. But what I want to do, if I want to surface, is to use this control. And when I go surface, this one starts for six, four seconds. And then it's joined with this one. The reason for that, whoops, wrong one. The reason for that is so it comes up bow first. The other thing that I'm going to do uh, is once I've got it on the surface and I've got it to a nice level on the surface, and if I want to dive, I hit the dive button. This goes for six for four seconds and then it's joined by its friend. The sexy part about it is as they go down, they stop at the point that the snapshot was taken of the depth that you want it to be or the depth that it was at last. And as I get down to that depth I can throw it into auto and it will hold that depth. So you see it's it's pretty bloody good. I'm very excited. So now what I'm going to do is give you a bit of an overview of getting it ready for the pond because there's a few things that I like to uh, include in that process because I've really been because you don't build these things without thinking about how they're going to work, how do you keep them dry, how do you look after them? And then uh, we'll go down to the, to the pond and get some great shots of it. Okay, thank you.